Well, I live in southern West Virginia, and I bought an electric car. I've been fascinated with electric cars for quite a while now. I have an electric vehicle that we use on the farm. It has lead-acid batteries uh, made by Textron Corporation. Uh, originally, it was called a bad boy buggy, and it keeps going through various name changes. This one's uh, the Textron Prowler from 2018 and 19. And uh, it's just an amazing vehicle, totally quiet, a few squeaks. I, we have to oil it every now and then in different places, but, uh, but really quiet. You can, uh, we can just prowl around the farm and do all kinds of work, carry things. I tow my uh, log splitter with it. We uh, use it as scaffold. We just do all kinds of farm work with it. So I've been very curious about having an electric car, but always felt like uh, Tesla was a bit pricey. And uh, finally, I've been checking online and found that Chevrolet Bolt EV, uh, the model Chevrolet started producing in 2017, a lot of them were coming off leases and were available fairly for reasonable prices. Um, and we went and bought it online from uh, one of the car dealers. Uh, we chose Varoom because it has a blanket $600 fee for delivery from any, wherever it comes from. And ours came from California and arrived uh, um, and I had seven days to try it out and see how it was with uh, where, when I could return it. But uh, we decided to keep it and really, really love it. Just, uh, we found out it's not a California thing. I mean, these cars are great for the West Virginia hills, for windy roads, for, uh, for our road. We have a driveway that's three quarters of a mile long and uphill. and. I was afraid, first off, it wouldn't make it up here very well, and second, that uh, just, not, just not knowing how it would perform on the road. But it turns out it does really well, because the nice, nicest thing to me about an electric car is the regenerative braking. You take your foot off the accelerator, and it, it'll slow all the way almost to a stop. So you rarely have to use the brakes if you drive it with full regen. I mean, these cars have very few moving parts compared to a conventional car. And they, I mean, no radiator, no fan belts, no transmission really to speak of. So no oil changes to deal with. The only thing people I've talked to who've had them for a few years say the only thing they do is rotate the tires and uh, put some wiper fluid in them. And they keep on going. What I did, I put a, an electric uh, charger in our garage, a uh, 240 volt charger, which will take it from, you know, if I happen to use up the battery, it'll take only eight or 10 hours to charge the whole car. Usually I'm not going more than 50 miles, so uh, I don't use up that much of the 220 mile range. Another thing I've found is if we go up a big mountain, the, that in range indicator will go from 200 miles to down to 180 in just a five mile stretch, we'll lose 20 miles, but then we come back down that same mountain and we'll gain 80% of that back. I mean, it'll really, when you have the foot off, your foot off the accelerator, you're putting charge back into the battery. So it kind of evens out and our range has been pretty accurate for the Chevrolet Bolt. Um, I think West Virginia, West Virginians a lot of times are thinking, oh, this is a California thing. Well, truth be told, this car runs, I mean, it'll run off coal. If your electricity is generated by coal, then you're plugging in your car and fueling it with coal. We don't have much stake in West Virginia in gas from Saudi Arabia or even Texas, you know, we're, we're uh, the coal, or if it's replaced eventually by solar, well, that's the local source. So 
we're, uh, I don't think we're uh, hurting the West Virginia economy at all. That's about it. We're just gradually moving toward an electric future, I think. <laughs>